Store. Today we're going to be taking apart uh, the iPad 2 3G and we're going to be taking the digitizer off and the cables to watch out for are going to be right here, these two spots and right here. Now if you're working on the Wi-Fi, you only have a cable right here to watch out for. We're going to start by heating up one of the corners. We're going to use a jeweler's tool to get in between the digitizer and the back case just to start it. Then we're going to use our plastic tool here to start prying the digitizer up. Once we got it started, we can apply some more heat. Depending on how your digitizer is cracked, you're going to have to tape each piece of glass out individually, but be careful that you don't scratch the LCD underneath the digitizer. Once you get around to the top of the iPad, you'll have those two cables here which you're going to have to be careful on not ripping the, the cables which are glued underneath the digitizer. And it's always safe to wear safety glasses as you're peeling up the glass because there are pieces that will shoot and you don't want to get any in your eyes. On this section, this is where we're going to be careful due to that cable. So if you lift it up, you can you can space the digitizer from the back case so you can get a better visual of where the cable's at. Just gonna slowly remove the digitizer. Okay, be careful when lifting the digitizer up because those cables are glued on the back. So what he's going to do is he's going to separate the cable from the back of the digitizer. So he makes sure he doesn't rip it as he's taking the digitizer off. Now if you have the Wi-Fi model, you would not have to worry about these cables. Approaching the second cable. If you're replacing a cracked digitizer, there's a cable located right here. You won't have to worry about it. But if you're replacing the LCD underneath and your digitizer is intact, you're going to want to lift it up and fold it out this way because your cable will be connected right here. But if your digitizer is cracked, you're going to get a new one with the cable already attached to it. So you won't have to worry about this cable with the cracked digitizer. 
After you remove the bulk of the digitizer, there's still going to be a lot of pieces located on the outside. So you're just going to have to piece by piece with your jeweler's screwdriver and just take each little piece off one by one to where you get the whole frame of the outside completely cleaned off of glass. Be sure you take your time as you're taking each piece of glass off. You don't want to slip with the screwdriver and scratch your LCD. After we've cleaned up all the glass around the outside, here I'm just going to point out the cables that I was talking about earlier that we have to watch out for. Here's the one on the bottom, and here's the other two that were on the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take off the LCD so we can unplug the rest of this digitizer cable. We're going to loosen four screws around the outside of the, on the, each corner of the LCD. You see where the LCD connects. We're just going to flip up the, the safety pin there, which locks the LCD connector in place. Once that's flipped up, you can remove the LCD cable. We're going to remove the plate, which holds the logic board down, but is in the way of the connectors, which the digitizer connects to the logic board. Have to remove the screws. The plate will slide out. And there'll be the two black locking tabs. Be careful when you flip them up. You don't want to break those off the logic board. And the cable is glued into the side. Just gently peel it up and pull it away from the logic board. Before putting the new digitizer on, we have to transfer over the home button from the old digitizer. And we'll just take our jeweler screwdriver and just gently slide it underneath. It too will peel up. Here we have our sticker kit and we're going to apply it to the digitizer first before putting the digitizer back on. And I'm just going to leave I'm just going to leave the edge of the white showing, so I'm going to try to cover up as much of the gray as I can possible, getting closest to the edge. All right, after you've cleaned the inside of the digitizer of fingerprints, you're just going to peel up the other side of the, the double sided tape, which will expose the sticky part. Now we're going to connect the digitizer into the logic board. After we've inserted the cable into the connectors, we're going to push those two tabs down, which locks the cable into place. After the cable seated in there, we're going to take the plate, which holds the logic board down. We're going to screw it back into place. After wiping down your LCD clean of fingerprints as well, we're going to connect the LCD back up and just the way we took it back out we're just going to sit it upright and connect that cable and then secure it in with that safety pin. Then we're going to screw it back down, four screws. At 
this point, we've done one final wipe down to make sure that the LCD and the inside of the digitizer is free of any dust and fingerprints. And once you put the digitizer on the on the unit, you won't be able to get it back up, back up. And be careful of that cable; it's very thin. You don't want to rip it when installing the digitizer back on. Secure each corner down, the sides. And there it is, your iPad 2 back to its original glory. Thank <laughs> you.